Retune is the latest innovation from influential DSP masters Z-Plane, enabling real-time transposition and key changing of both monophonic and polyphonic material across four octaves. Retune can be used for a wide variety of studio jobs, from pitch correction of guitars, vocals and other elements, to adjusting the key of mixed audio to fit your song. On the creative side, loops, samples and musical recordings can be utterly transformed. And Retune makes an amazing live performance tool too. How about changing the key of a classic song, in real time, during a live gig? Z-Plane know a thing or two about audio manipulation. Their Elastic technology is the industry standard for high quality pitch shifting and time stretching. And it features a music software from some of the biggest names in the business, including Steinberg, Cubase, Ableton Live and FL Studio, to name just a few. We're going to check out five of our favorite uses here, but for more suggestions and full tech specs, go to www.zplane.de. And don't miss the full review in Computer Music, issue 230. Retune can be used for a number of purposes, but the controls operate the same way no matter what you're doing with it. Here we've inserted it onto an audio channel with a full loop playing. We can detect the pitch of any incoming audio by clicking on the aptly named Learn Key button. Or you can just enter it in the box to the left if you already know the key. We can use it as a basic pitch corrector simply by raising the pitch correct amount. And remember, this works on material containing chords or even a full mix. It's not just for monophonic solo instruments. This feature is designed mainly to tighten up material before we get to the good part, using Retune to completely change the key of the material. We can select the scale type from a wide ranging list. and then click the transpose buttons to shift the root note of the key up or down. And as you can hear, we can do this a whopping two octaves in either direction. You can also manually assign specific note transpositions, so you can have, say, all C notes turned into C-sharps. The top row here represents incoming notes, with notes in the key highlighted with a blue strip, and the note it will be output as is found on the vertical axis here. Retune features a number of controls for adapting its algorithms to different kinds of material. The transient dial adjusts the balance between smooth and transparent pitching and the protection of transients. In fact, the dial goes all the way up to 150% and so can actually be used to enhance transients even when no retuning is being applied. Sensitivity essentially sets a threshold for how loud notes have to be before they're targeted. It's largely used to tailor retune for polyphonic or monophonic material. And when set too high, retune can actually start altering individual harmonics in a monophonic source. The smoothing control is used to smooth jumps between notes allowing you to tailor retune for legato play or create more artificial sounding fast note jumps.
Finally, we have a wet dry control for bringing the retune effect smoothly in or out, or for blending it with the original signal. You can use the pitch correction feature for simple, subtle pitch correction. However, like much of Retune, it really comes into its own as a creative effect. Here, Retune is working on a picked synth guitar part, playing two note chords, making sure to set the correct input key and matching output key. We raise the pitch correction slider all the way to the highest level, generating a kind of chorus-like effect as the pitch correction algorithm goes to work on the layered harmonics. And we can pull down the transient dial, removing the picked attack for a much changed sound that can occupy a different space in our mix. Finally, we can adjust the smoothing to tailor the effect. And there we have it. Using pitch correction in conjunction with the other controls, we've created a chorus sounding guitar with a completely transformed envelope. Here we have a nice chord progression, playing in F major over a drum beat. And we found an awesome bass line sample that's exactly the kind of sound and groove we want. But unfortunately, it's in a different key, C minor. So the notes clash badly. We can easily fix this, though, by applying retune to the bass sample and setting the input key to that of the bass and the output key to that of the chords. And hey presto! And remember, because Retune can handle polyphonic material too, we can do this the other way around. So how about applying the bass lines key to the chords? Like this. Another advantage of this is even if you want to recreate this retuned loop using your own synths, Retune can still help as it flashes up each detected note so you can tell which notes to use when you're replaying it. Retune allows all kinds of fun custom retuning using the note mapping grid. Here we use the grid to transpose all of the notes of this track to A for an interesting creative effect. And we can then transpose all of the notes together for example, we try it down four semitones to F here. And here we've inverted the chord by swapping the highest note with the lowest note. It's a great creative effect. Retune allows automation of its main controls, and so we can tap into its powerful retuning for special effects. Here we've drawn in transpose information to create a descending and then rising effect.
iTunes Dry Wet Control lets us use it as a harmony or automatic two-note chord generator. Take this pattern here, for example. Now, if we set Retune's input scale to C major and output to E Phrygian, and note that E Phrygian is the C major scale starting from E, then we create automatic in-key harmonies. We can also use its great synth style detuned patches from monophonic audio sources. For example, here we insert it onto a sampled loop playing a lead bass riff. We set the dial to 50 50 and then transpose the retune output to an interval of 3. or seven semitones. It instantly creates a thicker and more exciting lead sound, much like a rave style fifth or seventh patch in a synth. Except that with retune, you can apply it easily to sampled loops too, not just synth patches. And here we can even try the same trick with a vocal. We automate the dry wet control to only apply the effect on key words or phrases. So that's Z-Plane's incredible new retune. We've only begun to scratch the surface of what this powerful pitch manipulating plugin can achieve. And the more you use it, the more new tricks and applications you'll discover. But we hope you've already got the bug and are as excited as us. To find out more and get your hands on a demo or buy it now, head to www.zplane.de and don't forget to check out our full review in issue CM230 where we go into even more detail about Retune's features and uses.